Well, greetings there, truckers, on this Saturday morning. Start off with the road area. We got another uh, storm coming in from uh, offshore here in Washington. It hasn't hit here yet. Passes are looking pretty good. No restrictions yet. No slowdowns. Looking pretty good out west here. And as we travel back across eastward across the country, got this one storm front down here uh, making its way out of uh, Arkansas and Mississippi, headed into Tennessee right now. Not provi presenting any uh, slowdowns other than a little bit there on uh, I 40 just west of Memphis. <clears throat> see a little bit of red there not sure what's going on with there that really shouldn't be affecting that but looks like there'll be uh, some snow just west of uh, Huntsville Alabama there but like I say other than that uh, looking pretty good across the country go and switch over here to the weather radar and see how that looks and as you can see it's uh, off the coast here of Washington moving west eastward I mean excuse me and we got a weather and weather advisory for the Cascades uh, from 1 p.m. this afternoon to 1 p.m. on Sunday above 3,000 feet uh, snow accumulations uh, 6 to 12 inches so, not sure if we'll see much down here in the lowlands, but I guess definitely you'll end up having to go and throw iron going across passes. <clears throat> Doesn't look like Portland's going to be affected by it, uh, but uh, Looks like the Columbia River Gorge is going to get uh, some mixed precipitation expected. Snow accumulations up to an inch and nice accumulations around a tenth of an inch from 9 p.m. this evening through 10 a.m. Uh, Sunday morning. So the overnight hours uh, there in the Columbia River Gorge can get, should, looks like they'll be getting iffy. And that'll be also affecting the area there south of Yakima, mainly in the mountain areas there. Got a wind advisory there in the Blue Mountain area of Oregon. If I can get it to pop up. That's going to be from this morning to Sunday morning. 25 to 35, gusts to 50. Uh... So, if you're light, be, get ex, or be expected to get knocked around a little bit. Other than that, not seeing much else along the west coast here. We've got a wind advisory down there in the Los Angeles area, 15 to 25, gusts 35 to 45. So, watch it on them elevated spaghetti overpasses. Uh, Wind advisory over there by uh, Lake Havasu, stretching on up to Lake Mead, 25 to 30, gusts 40 to 45, so you might get knocked around going across the uh, Boulder Dam bypass bridge there, so be advised of that. Not seeing... Uh, much of anything else, uh, winter storm warning wise. Uh, got a wind advisory. <coughs> Excuse me. Southwest winds gusting up to 65 miles an hour expected in the Beartooth and Livingston area up there in Montana. So. Yeah, you might end up having to go on a detour down through town on that one. Looks like we got a winter weather advisory over here uh, along the 
South Dakota, Minnesota border, blowing snow, winds gusting as high as 45 miles an hour. And that's going to be either about 3 this afternoon. So, anyway, go and zoom in a little bit. And if you see that, that's uh, right there at the northeast corner of Minute or South Dakota. Uh, see a few freckles of. Uh, snow clouds on the weather radar there so that's where that's going to end up emanating from not seeing any uh, other than flood advisories not seeing anything weather wise uh, up here in the northeast or on the east coast you got that storm I was telling talking about uh, tracking across uh, Tennessee right now wintery mixed precipitation possible so that's for doesn't give any time frames just light rain and sleet so it might make your travel a little bit ugly there and uh, along uh, the Memphis area on I-40 as it tracks east towards Nashville and Knoxville so anyway that looks like about it for this morning so stay safe uh, let's see what's going on over here in Tenet or Texas oh light freezing rain and drizzle possible this morning A little uh, no accumulation is expected but you know the way they drive down there in Texas this is uh, south of Abilene yeah yeah you know, north and around the Abilene area stretching south to I-10 so so it'll be covering both I-20 and I-10 and that uh, you see the storm is tracking northeastward out of the area there so anyway all right that's all I've got for this morning have a safe one there drivers take it easy stay out of the ditches and once again don't do anything stupid to end up on bonehead truckers uh, YouTube page all right later all this is Greg signing off